hi and welcome back to my youtube channel for today's class we'll be making a beautiful rose flounce with organza please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to turn on the notification button so this is the fabric i'm working with this is the organza so you're not restricted to use only organza you can make use of any material that you want to use but for this tutorial we'll be making use of organza the next step you're going to take is to cut your organza to the size you're working with. So I cut out 4 inches, which is 2 inches on fold, giving me 4 inches. So I'll join the organza to give me a long strip. So you can cut out any measurement, your desired measurement that you want to work with. So I'm just working with 4 inches on fold. Next, I'm going to fold the Ankara fabric that I'll be using for the base of the flounce. I folded it into four folding. I'm still going to refold it again for you to understand the way I folded the base for the flounce. So after folding it into two, you're just going to fold it back again just like this. After folding my material, I'm just going to place my tape and I'm going to mark six inches round. So these six inches, I'll be creating a circle. Please note that the 6 inches that I'm marking around is not a constant. So you can use your own measurement, your own desired measurement. So if you notice the picture at the thumbnail, the flounce is a lot bigger. So you can make yours that big or you can make yours smaller depending on what you're working with. After drawing out that line, I'm just going to connect it drawing a circle after connecting the lines and forming a circle i'll take my scissors and i'm going to cut out what i have successfully marked out i'm going to open up what i cut and this is it a round circle so i'll be creating two of these and i'll be attaching a gum stay to it the reason why i'm doing this is to have that very firm effect at the base so i'll go ahead and place my first pattern on the fabric and i'm going to trace it out round after cutting this this is what i have i have two separate pattern so to create your base you're going to place one on the other one right side facing right side and you're going to stitch on it but before stitching on it i'm going to be ironing a gum stay on one and i'm going to use one place on top and i'm going to sew around with half inch so here i have it i've gone ahead and i've ironed gum stay on this one on the wrong side so i'll just trim out the ss gum stay at i have on the fabric after trimming out the SS gum stay I have on this I'm going to place the other one on it and I'll place the right side facing the right side and I will sew on the wrong side where I have the gum stay or the other wrong side of the base so I'll go ahead and sew with half inch but while sewing, I'm just going to leave a little space that I will use to turn the base. Here you have it. I'm done sewing the base. The next thing I'm going to do is just to notch it round open. So while notching, I'm not going to notch that part that I left open to turn up so that I can easily fold it in and top stitch it while sewing. After I'm done notching it, I'll go ahead and I will turn it to the right side. I'll make sure I turn out all the edges and it's lying flat. After turning it open, the next thing you're going to do is to fold in that part and you're going to top stitch it. After top stitching it, you're going to iron your base so that it will be flat enough and stable. I'm done ironing my base. The next step is to mark out the lines that I'll be sewing my flounce on. So I'll be marking half inch round. 
so it's not advisable to use one inch because there will be a lot of gapping and you can use less than half inch to mark round i'll carefully mark the half inch line round and i will connect so in case you don't understand what i mean by marking the half inch round you can watch me while marking so that you understand what i mean please if you find this video very interesting and educative at this point don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification button to get updates for my channel i'm done marking the half inch round and i'm going to sew my organza to it so before sewing i'm just going to tuck in the rough edges or conceal it before sewing and you're just going to start at that point and you're going to sew with half or you sew with 0 0.25 so while sewing you're just going to be pleating round and make sure your organza is unfold while sewing so we'll go over to the machine and i'm going to show you so just like i said you're just going to tuck the edges inside the organza and you're going to fold it this way after folding it you're going to place it on the line at that starting point and you're going to sew with half inch also while sewing you should be careful to not sew more than half inch or 0 0.3 inches and you're going to also fold it to create that effect on it that rose effect on it you're going to fold it that way throughout and you're going to continue sewing following the lines or pattern that you have made earlier So why sewing if you follow your pattern correctly this is what you're going to be having at this point and as you can see it's forming the rose effect already i'll go ahead and continue sewing to the end so I've, i'm done sewing and i've gotten to this end so to conceal the rough edge you're just going to fold in the organza just like we did at the beginning point and you're going to top stitch it at the center of the base. Just like I said earlier, you're going to fold it in just like the beginning part and you're going to sew around it, concealing it at the center. After sewing it round at the center, this is what you're going to have. So as you can see, mine is very neat at the center. I don't have any rough edges there. So with this, we have come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you liked the tutorial and you found it educative. Don't forget to support my channel by giving this video a thumbs up. Drop your comment at the comment section, share and also subscribe to my YouTube channel to get new updates from my channel and turn on your notification buttons.